This is Boston, a city with courage, compassion, and strength. For 21 years, the city of Boston called him mayor, but for 40 plus years, Susan and Tom Jr. called Thomas M. Menino, dad. For us, we saw him in a different capacity, but you saw him as your dad. Yeah. Best thing I can say, just, just very caring. That's probably the easiest way to say it. So he just cared. I want people to um, recognize him how wonderful he was. So I'm glad that they came up to him and said, hey, mayor. But he was ours, and we never got that. You do. You feel like you're, you, you wanted more. Mm -hmm. so we finally got him. Because you had to share him with all of us. So we finally had him. And then you lost yeah. him. Yeah. I know. He's been gone for a little more than a 1,000 days. It might as well have been yesterday. You miss him every day. Every day. A day goes by, and you think, oh, my dad. I've, no. I haven't even thought about him. No. no, every day, every day. And I carry my picture with me. It's always in my um, one of my pocketbooks. I always have my pictures with them. Mine's in my car, right on my dashboard. I was at the uh, doctor's the other day in an elevator and a gentleman happened to see my bracelet and he said, oh, he said, oh, Menino. And I said, yeah, that's my dad. And he said, oh, and there was three other people in there and they started talking to me and they're like, oh, he's great, blah, blah, blah. But then the tears started and I just can't help it. I mean, he should be here with us. He was everything to you. I talked to Susan and Tom Jr. because I've always admired how they lived after their dad died, always remembering, always talking about him to him. Tom, right now, wearing his dad's suit that he had tailored, his watch, his ties. Susan has his initials tattooed on her wrist. He's always with them. It's his initials, and yes, he would absolutely kill me. <laughs> but I had to do it because, why? Why, um, I don't know, I just needed to have it there. So those are the things that bring you to him. Part of what he was, like, you know, he always had his nice suits and ties on and was always dressed real nice. And, you know, that was a lot to my mother, picking out his stuff. But yeah. And I still say, what would he think if I did this? What's been the hardest part for you? Um, when you need advice. You know, you know, you need to pick up the phone and call. And it's like, okay, who do you call now? There are other people that you call, but, you know, it's not the same advice. And for you, the phone ringing. He called 10 times a day. It would ring and you knew it was him. And he'd call up and say, what's going on? I mean, he would call me five minutes later and say, what's going on? How's the kids? Okay, bye. And he'd hang up. The thing with us was he'd stop over. It didn't matter on his way to work, on his way home, <laughs> the car pulling up. The simple stuff. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The everyday stuff. Exactly. That is the hardest part, isn't it? It is. Just the everyday. So how do they get through the days? the weeks, months, years. If you're talking to someone who's lost someone who's been that important to them, you say what? Continue, continue doing exactly what you were doing before. Yeah, I mean, some days I wanna curl up, and I have. But you know what, I have three kids at home, I'm my mother, my brother and his family, you just gotta keep on going. I just want people to remember my dad and, and my mom. Right. I mean, my mom's here obviously, thank God but I just want the people who are there for him to also <laughs> remember my mom yeah. because she was a huge part of him. Oh, we know that. Yeah. Right. And how is she doing? She's Amazing. She's, she is. Yeah, she's but you know she misses times. him. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The house is quiet. She said the hottest time is after dinner when she goes home and it's quiet. <sighs> she's at my house for dinner. Yeah, mine too. So you carry on. Absolutely. Carry on. Same exact. And you had moments, truthfully, right? Oh, absolutely. That you couldn't, you didn't want to. I mean, it was just so hard, right? Yeah. I went to the cemetery the other day. I just cried. And that's what they say to do. Yeah. yeah. Just, just allow yourself to grieve. And are you still, you'll still grieve, you feel it. Oh, absolutely. The same way you did then. But it gets better or it doesn't? It gets, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. It's not, it's, it's, yeah, it's everyone not. says it gets easier. The only thing that gets easier is the way you grieve. Like before it was, you know, you would just be there and kind of an emotional wreck all the time. And now it's different. I showed Susan and Tom Jr. an interview that the mayor did with Ed right before he died, right here on Channel 5. And they lived through a lot of kids. They stood by me. And he talks about them and how they are his everything. In this business of government, when you're there, your family takes a lot of hits. But you know, you're lucky you have a family. They, they support you all the way. Isn't that beautiful? Hard to look back, but the memories are always a gift. It helps because sometimes when you're living everyday life, just for a moment, we forget that our loved one isn't there. 
I was in Alabama and um, we're picking out all kinds of t-shirts for things and I wanted to get him a shirt. There was a polo shirt. And then I realized. I'm sorry, it's I know. Right. And those are the moments and that's the thing with, with when you try to deal with this is that you forget. I'll call my mother a million times and I realize, okay, she's not there. Right. And you call your father's number. It's funny, my father's number's still on my phone. Me too. It's one of my favorites and I don't know. I don't honestly I've never touched the button to hit Tom and TMM but it's dialed a few times and I've sat there and waited to see what happens where do you seek comfort it's in each other yeah yeah I, th I think we're just we're much closer now actually you are yep. yeah absolutely since he passed away yep. yeah. and why do you think that is it just brought us closer and stuff. That's him. But what do you mean by when you say it's him that's what he wants yeah exactly like, that's what he wanted that's always. all he wanted he wanted our kids to be best friends, mm -hmm. and that's what's happening. That's what he got. You heard Susan say that she hopes that people remember her mother, and that's really an important point. Even after time, people still need your support after they've lost someone so close.